today we're going to draw a really simple octopus picture, aren't we, Dick? Where are you going? Now, don't go down there. That's my private bits down there. Back up, back up. Uh, so get yourself a biro. You don't need a snake to do this, okay? That's optional. But make sure you get yourself a ballpoint pen or a pencil or a piece of paper and join along. Anybody can do this one. Except maybe Dick here. We're going to start off here with the letter C, like that, but so sort of tilted slightly, and in that is going to be the letter O. Now we're going to get another letter C, put it around the wrong way, and put that there like that. We've got a good start already. Now, I'm going to put two brackets here, and actually before I do that, I'm going to put the letter U on the side like that, and now we're going to put those two brackets one bracket like that, another bracket like that, almost touching, and then we're going to put a letter V on its side there. We've got half the octopus there already. All right, a bracket there, and then a bracket there. Same here, a bracket there, but this time start it there and go from there to there and do the other bracket there like that. We're going to do that again. So a bracket going that way and one going that way. Bracket going that way and then these two joining. Now comes the tricky bit. The number six. We're going to do just here and do something like the number six like that. Now this is where it gets a bit tricky because in here we're going to do a bracket going like that. And from here to here, we're going to do another bracket going in like this. Well, I curved it up a bit more than a bracket, but you get the idea. Now, we're going to do this in reverse. So, we're going to do like a back to front number six. And here, we're going to do a bracket. And here, we're going to do a bracket going up like that. Now, we've got two front legs, two side legs, I do two back legs, and then another two side legs. Back legs are very easy. So here's an easy back leg, a bracket there, and a bracket there. We're going to do another bracket there, and another bracket there. Almost done another number six there but this time we are going to start there and do a slightly bigger number six there now that gives us seven legs the other ones probably is going to be the other side we're not going to see it so I'm going to do sort of like a half circle and a half circle like that boy oh boy here's our octopus looking good Capital letter U, very handy. Let's put them in here like this. See, just lining that with the capital letter U. And you go all the way to the end. That's one. Go do it with this leg too. Go do something special with the side legs though. Okay, so here we have the side legs. It's going to be a bit trickier here letter O, the letter O, to about there, and now I'm going to go into the capital letter U, sort of upside down, like this. Now here, capital letter U, half a capital letter U, just the tip of a capital letter U, bring this around here, Bring those around here like this. The thing with an octopus is it has two rows of those little suction cups on each tentacle. Like so. Now I might put a little join the gaps up there because I don't have gaps. There we go, looking well. And with these we actually put some dots in there and dots 
on the end of the letter U's on that underside. Right, let's do the same here. Capital letter U, capital letter U, here and here and about here we're going to go the letter O around like this. Now yeah, we're going back into capital letter U's again upside down, sideways so about here another row of capital letter U's like that. Now if you've got any little gaps there just close those little gaps up the same as before. We're going to put dots there there Maybe some on the ends of these. Dream looking very octopusy. That was the hard part. Capital letter U just going all the way around. And the same here. I mean we're doing it upside down capital letter U's and they don't have to be perfect you see some of mine are not that well shaped if they're not well shaped they're sort of probably a bit more realistic now more capital letter U right to the ends it's a very octopusy looking octopus we are going to put like a, a bracket there a thick just thickening it up. Here we're going to put like a back to front letter C and just top part there just going to colour that in a bit like that. Now some texture we're going to put some brackets like that and like this. See little brackets? And these little brackets are going to come here and this is giving this Hockey, a bit of texture. Nice one. Now I might even put some tiny little letter O's here and there for a bit more texture because they have this funny bumpy skin. Well their skin can be really smooth or really bumpy. That's the thing with an octopus, they can change the texture of their skin to blend in. And after you've done those little circles, maybe a few dots. And now I'll show you some real tricks. This bracket here, we're going to go over it and make it a lot thicker. Like that, and that side of that V. We're also going to thicken up just under there. Maybe a little bit under that eye. And now we're going to put some shading in. So I'm using a biro. Because I'm using a ballpoint pen, I'll just have to do it with a few lines. But if you've got a pencil, you can actually just very gently colour in bits. This is where it gets tricky. So I'm going to have that tentacle sort of on the ground. This one above the ground. So very, very gentle shading there. But when you come in close to the octopus, pretty much just colouring it in black and it's sort of dark there and it goes out lighter and lighter so here same thing, it's going to be almost black here, it's going to be black there where it's touching, it's going to be sort of a light bit in the middle, so I'm going to do the light bit and just you know darken it up. See how it goes light there, it's dark there, just with a few lines. Again if you're doing it with a pencil you can just push harder or push more gentle. Okay, here I might just do a few lines coming out there, darken in here. In here a little bit of a bracket. I probably should put some brackets here anyway because there's a bit of skin between, that's what I forgot there. Oh well. 
I'll just put more of a bracket there, a bit of shade under it. I can do it there, see? Can do a bit of skin there maybe. Okay, can't remember everything. Bit of shadow there, the same as here, it's just going to really just very gentle there and come in darker, darker, darker. So light, darker, darker, darker. If you have a pencil, very, very gentle and then darker. Now something special at the back here. We're going to very, very gently just mirror that and just gently colour that in. Again, making it dark so it comes in close to the octopus. And here, same thing. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Slowly getting darker. And that's a very easy how to draw an octopus using brackets, the capital letter U, the letter O, the number 6, the letter V and the letter C. And a little bit of shading. And we have our octopus. And that was the how to draw an octopus. What do you think of that, Duke? What do you mean you don't like it? No pleasing some people. I guess he doesn't know much about art, but he knows what he likes. If you've enjoyed this video, why not check out some of my other videos and maybe subscribe. There's a link right there for that. If you want to see me get up close and personal and sketch some live venomous snakes, there's a link right there for that one too. And if you want to see more art videos and how to draw videos, there's a link there. Hope you guys have really enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.